Hi everyone, in this video I am going to solve O-Levels Additional Mathematics Paper 2 in a session October-November 2022, Paper 2-3. So let's start with the first question. Question number 1, solve the following inequality. So first, uh, let me multiply the factors. Applying the distributive property, we have um, 2x times x is 2x squared. 2 times 4 is minus 8x and 3 times x is 3x and 3 times minus 4 is minus 12 which is greater than 3x square minus 3x plus 4x minus 4 right okay so 2x square from 8 take away 3 is minus 5 3 minus 8 is minus 5 yes minus 5x minus 12 is greater than 3x square plus x minus 4. Shifting all the terms over here. So we have uh, 2x square minus 3x square minus 5x minus x minus 12 plus 4 is greater than 0. Right. This is minus x square minus 6x and uh, 4 take away 12 is minus 8 is greater than 0. Taking negative sign common x square plus 6x plus 8 is greater than 0. And multiplying with a negative sign, we have to reverse the inequality. So we can say x square plus 6x plus 8 is less than 0. So this is a quadratic equation. Let me factorize this. 1 times 8 is 8 and 2 times 4 is 8 and 2 plus 4 would be 6. x square plus 2x plus 4x plus 8 is less than 0. x is common. x plus 2 is the factor. plus 4 is common. x plus 2 is the factor. Okay. So the two factors are x plus 2 and x plus 4. Okay, so let me find the two values for x. From here, x would be equals to minus 2 and x is equals to minus 4. Okay, so if I draw the parabola, as you can see, this is a quadratic equation. It shape look like a parabola. Okay, and the x square coefficient is positive, so the opening of the parabola is upward, and the two roots are minus 2 and minus 4. So, this would be the shape of the parabola. Here we have minus 2, and here we have minus 4. Right now, we have to find um, the solution when uh, this parabola is less than 0. So, it is less than 0 between minus 2, uh, between minus 4 and minus 2. So, we can say that the um, solution of the inequality is when x values are between minus 4 is less than x is less than minus 2, you have less than 0, the inequality is less than 0. Question number two, the tangent to the curve at a point where x is 2 has an equation. This, find the values of a and b. Okay, so for equation of tangent, first we have to find the gradient dy over dx at x is equals to 2. Right, so we have 2ax minus 5. So when x is equals to 2, we have 2 a times 2 minus 5 which is equals to 4a minus 5 okay and this is the equation of uh, tangent we have given right so equation of tangent we have to compare the gradients to get the a value we have a gradient 4a minus 5 this would be equals to the gradient is 7 so from here 4a equals to 7 plus 5 so 4a would be equals to 12 so a is 3 4 times 3 is 12 right so we got the a value now to get the b value what we have to do we have to substitute the point right so as you can see at x is equals to 2 we have given x is equals to 2 we have to solve for y what is y y is a value is 3 3 times 2 square minus 5 times 2 plus 2 
right okay so 3 times 2 square minus 5 times 2 plus 2 which is equals to 4 so the points are 2 4 write down the equation of tangent which is equals to y minus y naught equals to the gradient which is 7 into x minus x naught x naught is equals to 2 right so y would be equals to 7x minus 7 times 2 is 14 and shifting this 4 over here this would be plus 4 yes so y equals to 7x uh, minus 10 so if we compare this b value uh, so b value is minus 10 so from here b would be equals to negative 10 and a is equals to positive of 3 now question number 3 solve the equation so all the terms containing log other than 2 so we have to convert this to as a log so we can say log of 2x minus 1 plus log of x plus 2 this is 2 log base 10 10 log base 10 10 is just 1 minus log 4 right so further simplification we can say apply the property of log the product we have 2x minus 1 and x plus 2 and here we have log 10 square minus log 4 so we can say log of 2x square plus 4x minus x minus 2 equals to log of 10 square is 100 by 4. Okay, so and what is 100 by 4? 25. We can say log of 2x square plus 3x minus 2 equals to log of 25. Cancel the logs on both sides. Now we have a quadratic equation. 2x square minus plus 3x minus 2 minus 25. This is equals to 0. Right? We can get the x values from here. 2x square plus 3x minus 27. This is equals to 0. Right? Let me factorize this. We have... Uh, 2 times minus 27 is minus 54, 6 times 9 is 54, and 9 minus 6 is 3. Minus 6x six, six and minus 27 equals to 0. Let me take x common. We are left with 2x plus 9 and negative 6, negative 3 is common. Yes, we have 2x plus 9. The two factors are 2x plus 9 and we have x minus 3 equals to 0. Right. Now let me find the two solutions. Let me do here. So the two solutions are x is equals to 3 and x is equals to minus 9 over 2. Right. Now let's see which solution is valid. We have positive 3, so it is obviously it is valid. So we can say 2 times 3 minus 1, log is positive. We have 3 plus 2, log is positive. So 3 is valid. Minus 9 by 2. 2 times minus 9 divided by 2, just minus 9 and minus 1. Log of minus 10 does not exist, right? So we can say that the only valid solution is... x is equals to 3 which satisfy the equation question number 4 the line uh, intersects the curve at a point where x is equals to 2 number 8 find the value of k so the line and curve intersects so it means we can put both of them equal x cube minus 4x square plus 3kx plus 2 this would be equals to kx plus 6 right at x is equals to 2 we can substitute the x value equals to 2 so 2 cube is 8 minus 2 square times 4 we 
have 4 times 4 which is 16 plus 3 times 2 is 6k plus 2 equals to 2k plus 6 right so 8 minus 16 plus 6k plus 2 minus 2k minus 6 this would be equals to 0 right okay let me solve for k we have uh, 8 minus 16 plus 2 minus 6 negative 12 and this is 4 4k minus 12 equals to 0 so 4k equals to 12 and k is 4 times 3 is 12 so the k value is 3 right now for part b uh, show that for this value of k the line cuts the curve only once okay okay when the line cuts the curve so we have a line y equals to k is 3x plus 6 and the curve we have y equals to x cube minus 4x square 3 times 3 is 9x plus 2 okay line cuts the curve so both of them equal so x cube minus 4x square plus 9x plus 2 equals to 3x plus 6 x cube minus 4x square plus 9x minus 3x plus 2 minus 6 this would be equals to 0 right we have x cube minus 4x square plus 6x minus 4 equals to 0 right as we know that from the first part that it cuts the curve at a point x equals to 2. So, means x is equals to 2 is a solution. It is a cubic polynomial. We can apply synthetic division. And let's see x equals to 2 is a solution. Right. So, write down the coefficients. We have 1, minus 4, 6 and minus 4. 2 is a solution. Bring 1 down. 2 times 1 is 2 negative 2 2 times 2 is minus 4 here we have 2 2 times 2 would be 4 here we have 0 so 2 is the solution right so we can rewrite this polynomial as x minus 2 x square minus 2x plus 2 this would be equals to 0 right x equals to 2 is a solution now let's find the other solutions so we have to show that it the line cuts the curve at only once means it should have only one solution right so if it has only one solution let me check the discriminant whether this has a solution or not so the discriminant is b square minus 4ac right so b square is minus 2 square minus 4 times the a value and the c value which is um, 4 um, 2 square is 4 and minus 8 which is equals to negative of 4 so the discriminant is negative it is less than 0 so when the discriminant is negative so there is no solution we will get complex roots right so from here there is no solution so the only solution is x is equals to 2 so it is shown that the line cuts the curve only once Question number 5, part A, show that the left-hand side equals to the right-hand side. Starting from the left-hand side, we have to take the LCM. Doing a cross multiplication, cos with cos, we have cos square x plus 1 minus sin x whole square. And the common denominator is cos x into 1 minus sin x. Open the square, we have cos square x plus 1 plus sin square x minus 2 sin x over cos x into 1 minus sin x. We know that cos square x plus sin square x is 1 and this is 1. So you have 1 plus 1 would be 2. So 2 minus 2. Um, this is sin x over cos x into 1 minus sin x 
okay let me do for the steps here let me take two common we are left with one minus sine x over cos x into one minus sine x cancel the like factors one minus sine x into one minus sine x we are left with two over cos x and the reciprocal of one by cos is two secant x which is equals to my right hand side Now for part B, and solve this equation, this would be equals to 8 cos square theta by 2 for minus 360 to plus 360. Okay, so as you can see, the x is replaced with theta by 2. And this whole thing is equals to 2 secant x and x is basically theta by 2. And you have to put it equals to uh, uh, 8 cos square theta by 2. Okay, so we can say that this is 2 secant theta by 2 this would be equals to 8 cos square theta by 2 okay so secant is 1 over cos you have to multiply over here so we can say 2 over 8 2 and divide by 8 equals to cos cube secant is 1 over cos right so cos is multiplying so cos cube theta by 2 and 1 by 2 is basically 1 by 4 um, 2 by 8 1 by 4 right so let me simplify the cube root here so cos theta by 2 this would be equals to the cube root of uh, 1 by 4 right let me solve for theta by 2 which is cos inverse of cube root 1 by 4 and the domain is in degrees so we have to convert our calculator in degrees this is in radians for degrees okay so cos inverse cube root 1 divides 4 which is equals to we can say over here 50.95 right and what about theta so we have to solve for theta so we have to times by 2 which is equals to theta equals to 101.91 if you round it 91 degrees this is between minus 360 to plus 360 and we have to check for other values like cause is uh, positive in which quadrant so using the cast rule Okay, so according to the cast rule, C, A, S, and T. Cause is positive in the first quadrant. Uh, you got this value for the first quadrant and for the last quadrant. So we have to do 360 degree minus theta value, right? Okay, so we can say hmm, 360 minus 50.95 and then times by 2. This is 618.1, which is more than the range minus 360 to plus 360. So we can say that the only solution is 101.91 degrees. Question number six. The first four terms in the ascending power of x and the expansion of this can be written as this. Find the values of the constant a, b, and c. So let me open the first four terms. 3 plus ax its power is 4 the first term is 3 power 4 plus 4 c 1 3 power is 3 a x plus 4 c 2 3 power is 2 a x square plus 4 c 3 3 power is 1 a x power is 3 these are 1, 2, 3 and 4 terms, right? Let me simplify. What is 3 power 4? 81. Plus, what is 4C1? Which is 4 times 3 cube. 108. 108. AX. 4C2. Times 3 square. 54. 
54 a square x square 4 c3 c3 times 3 which is 12 a cube x cube right so the first three terms in the expansion is this and it can be written in this way right so we have to do the comparison and then finding the values of a and b comparing this with the given one so as you can see 81 and 81 so comparing coefficients So let's start with the comparing coefficients of x. So here x value a coefficient is b and here we have 108a. So b equals to 108a. Right. Then comparing coefficients of x square. Here we have c and here c is equals to 54a square. And the comparing coefficient of x cube we will get um, 3 by 2 and 3 by 2 is equals to 12 a cube right from here let me solve for a so we can say 3 by 2 times 12 this is a cube right so what is a a is a cube root of 2 times 12 is 24, 3 divides 24, 1 over 8, so and the cube root of 1 by 8, cube root of answer is 1 by 2, so a value is 1 by 2, right, now substitute the a value over here, we will get b is equals to 108 times 1 by 2, this times 108, so b is 54, And from here, C is equals to 54 times 1 by 4 because A, 1 square is 1 and um, 2 square is 4. So 54 divides 4, 27 by 2 is the C value. C equals to 27 divided by 2. So A is 1 by 2, B is 54 and C is 27 by 2. These are the three values of the constants. Now question number 7, given that nc4 equals to 13 times nc2, find the value of nc8. So from here first we have to solve for n. So what is nc4? Open the formula n factorial over 4 factorial into n minus 4 factorial. This is equals to 13 times n factorial over 2 factorial into n minus 2 factorial right now let me open the factorials so n factorial is n n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 and n minus 4 factorial right this is going to divide with 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 factorial and n minus 4 factorial. This would be equals to 13 times n, n minus 1, n minus 2 factorial over 2 factorial, n minus 2 factorial. Okay n minus 4 factorial with n minus 4 factorial and minus 2 with n minus 2, 2 factorial with this 2 factorial, right. So what is left? We are left with, um, we can also cancel n, n minus 1 with n and n minus 1, yes. We are left with 13 over here. So the simplified form is n minus 2, n minus 3 divides 4 times 3 is 12 equals to 13. This is left, right? Okay. Simplify this further. So we have n square minus 3n minus 2n plus uh, 2 times 3 would be 6 equals to 12 times 13 is 156. So n square 
minus 5n minus 150 this would be equals to 0 shifting 156 over here so it would be negative of 150 okay now let me find the roots for this it is a quadratic equation and a variable n so if i factorize 1 times 150 is 150 15 times 10 is 150 or we can say 10 minus 15 n square plus 10 n minus 15 n minus 150 this is 0 n is common n plus 10 is a factor minus 15 is common n plus 10 is the factor equals to 0 n minus 15 and n plus 10 equals to 0 so from here we will get two values for n n is equals to 15 and n is equals to negative 10 but n never be negative so we have to pick the positive one right now the next step is to find the value of nc8 by substituting n would be equals to 15 right we have n c8 15 c8 okay let me use a calculator 15 c8 this is 6435 right question number eight part a Particle A starts from the point with the position vector 3 minus 2 and travels with the speed 26 meter per second in the direction of the vector 12, 5. Find the position vector of A after t seconds, right? We have to find the position vector of A. So, for position vector, we need the velocity vector, right? So, first we have to find the velocity vector. Velocity vector is equals to the speed or the magnitude which we have given multiply direction of a vector divides the magnitude of direction this is the velocity vector okay so now let me calculate the velocity vector v which is equals to speed is 26 times um, direction is 12 5 and what is the magnitude of direction 12 square plus 5 square and square root which is 13 26 divide 13 which is 2 2 into 12, 5. 2 times 12 is 24. And 2 times 5 is 10. Right. Now the next thing we have to find the position vector. So the formula for the position vector is. Position vector. Is equals to. A particle starts from the point with a position vector, the initial position vector plus some constant, some scalar times, uh, the velocity vector. Right. So we have, which is 3 minus 2 plus t times this vector, which is 24, 10. Now for part B, at the same time, particle B starts from the point with the position vector 67, negative 18. It travels with a speed of 20 meter per second at an angle alpha with a positive x-axis. Okay, it makes an angle alpha with a positive x-axis where tangent alpha is uh, 3 by Four, find the position vector of B after t seconds. Same for the position vector, we need the initial position vector plus scalar times the velocity vector. And to find the velocity vector, we have the speed, we need to find the direction vector first. So we have given this information. So if I draw that angle, which it makes with a positive x-axis, okay. So if I can say that okay so we know that what is tan, tan of alpha tangent alpha is always y over x 
which is 3 by 4. So 3 is the y component and 4 is the x component and it makes the angle with a positive x axis, right? So this is a right angle triangle, right? So we have to find the hypotenuse. So by using a Pythagoras theorem, we have 4 square is 16 plus 3 square is 9 and square root of 25 is 5, right? Now to find the direction vector, direction vector the x component of the direction vector is uh, equals to cos of alpha and the y component equals to sine of that angle alpha right so what is cos alpha which is uh, cos is this is opposite adjacent and hypotenuse so cos uh, answer is 5 over okay so cos would be 4 over 5 and sine is 3 over 5 so we can say the x component is 4 and the y component is 3 this is the direction vector right now we have a direction vector we can find the velocity vector which is equals to the magnitude or speed which is 20 times the direction vector 4 3 divides the magnitude of the direction as we know the magnitude is 5 yes because 4 square is 16 3 square is 9 and the square root is the square root of 25 is just 5 right okay now we have 20 divides 5 is 4 so we can say 4 times 4 is 16 and 4 times 3 is 12 this is my velocity vector right now let me find the position vector of b which is the initial position vector 67 negative 18 plus some scalar we can say t times the velocity vector which is 16 12 so this is a position vector of b and in the first part we did the position vector of a right now for part c hence find the time at which a and b meet uh, and the position uh, and the position where this occur okay we need to find the time when they meet and we need to find the position where it occur so the position vector of a would be equals to position vector of b to find their point of intersection so position vector of a would be equals to the position vector of b right position vector of a is 3 plus 20 40 and minus 2 plus 10 t this would be equals to position vector of B 67 plus 16 T and negative 18 plus 12 T. Right. Okay. Now we have to make the equations to find the value for T. 3 plus 24 T. This is equals to 67 plus 16 T. 24 T minus 16 T. This would be equals to 67 minus 3. So we have 24 minus 16, which is 8t, and 67 minus 3, which is 64. 64 divides 8 is 8. So t equals to 8. Right. So at 8 seconds, if you can solve for the second equation, you will get the same answer. So let me show you. Uh, minus 2 plus 10t. This would be equals to minus 18 plus 12t. 10t minus 12t equals to negative 18 plus 2. Minus 2t equals to minus 16. And t would be equals to 2 times 8 is 16. Again, we can get 8 seconds. So the um, we need to find the time at which a and b meet. So a and b meets at t equals to 8 seconds. And we have to find the positions. Of meeting okay position of meeting is you can substitute the t value into position vector of a or position vector of b you will get the same answers right so we can say that 3 plus 24 times 8 and minus 2 plus 10 times 8 
or you can do for the second one as well right okay so let me simplify we have 24 times 8 plus 3 195 the x component is 195 for their position of meeting and 10 times 8 is 80 minus 2 this is 78 the y component so this is a position of meeting Question number 9. The equation of a curve is given where k is a constant. Part A. Find dy by dx. dy over dx is k is a constant. Using the product rule, we can say first term is as it is. The derivative of second term is e power minus 2x into minus 2. Plus the second term is as it is e power minus 2x. The derivative of first term x is just 1. So k is outside, we have minus 2x e power minus 2x plus e power minus 2x. Or we can say e power minus 2x k times e power minus 2x minus 2x plus 1. This is a simplified form for the derivative. Now for part b, find the coordinates of the stationary point on the curve. Okay, so here you can see k value is equals to 10 for the coordinates of the stationary point stationary point is a point when the gradient of a curve is equals to zero we will get the x and the y coordinates right so we got the gradient of the curve since uh, k value is 10 right at k equals to 10 we have uh, the gradient uh, dy over dx would be 10 e power minus 2x into 1 minus 2x we have to put it equals to 0 right so from here we can say 10 e power minus 2x never equals to 0 but 1 minus 2x would be equals to 0 and from here what is x x is 1 by 2 so x component is 1 by 2 we have to solve the y component by substituting into the curve so the y component is y would be equals to 10 times x times e power minus 2 times x 2 times 5 is 10 which is equals to 5 e power minus 1 right so we can say that uh, coordinates of stationary point is x y coordinates x coordinate is 1 by 2 and the y coordinate is 5 over e right now for part c using your answer to part a uh, to find the integration of 4 x e power minus 2 x dx okay so answer of part a this is part a Okay, we did the derivative of part A. This would be equal to this. Now, the k value is 4 in part C, right? So, we did dy, d by dx of 4 x e power minus 2 x. And we got 4 e power minus 2 x into 1 minus 2 x, right? Okay, now we have to differentiate it, uh, integrate it, sorry. Taking integration on both sides, so integration d over dx, 4x e power minus 2x with respect to dx equals to, we have to integrate 4 e power minus 2x dx minus integrate 4 times 2 is 8x e power minus 2x dx. So from here we can see dx is cancelled with dx, derivative and integral is cancelled. So we have 4x e power minus 2x, this is equals to 4 and the integration of e power minus 2x minus, we can convert this into this form, uh, 4x e power minus 2x. So taking two common, this is with respect to dx, sorry, 2 is outside, so we have 4x. 2 times 4 is 8 e power minus 2x dx right so here we have 4x e power minus 2x this is equals to 4 e power minus 2x divides minus 2 minus 2 times integration of 4x e power minus 2x dx 
you have to solve this so shift the rest of the terms on the other side so we can say 2 times 2 would be 4 here we have to add the constant of integration with this as well right so from here we can say integration 4 x e power minus 2 x dx this would be equals to with the 2 if i shift this term on the other side so we have um, we can say 2 e power minus 2 x minus 4 x e power minus 2 x plus some constant of integration right now we have to divide throughout the equation by 2 as well right so integration of 4 x e power minus 2 x dx this is e power minus 2 x uh, sorry this is negative sign yes and we have negative 2 times 2 would be 4 so 2 x e power minus 2 x plus some constant of integration c by 2 is again a constant right now for part d uh, find the exact value of 0 to 1 for x e power minus 2 x dx okay so we know it's integration so integration 0 to 1 4 x e power minus 2 x dx this would be equals to e power minus 2 x minus 2 x e power minus 2 x so this since it is a definite integral so we are not adding the constant of integration from 0 to 1 now let's substitute the upper limit e power minus 2 uh, minus 2 e power minus 2 just have substituted x this is upper limit minus the lower limit e power 0 minus 2 times 0 gives me 0 right so from here e power minus 2 minus 2 times e power minus 2 minus e power 0 is just 1 right so this is minus okay now uh, simplified this form sorry this is negative times negative makes positive we have 1 minus 3 e power minus 2 this is the simplified form question number 10 part a the third term of an arithmetic progression and the thematic progression this is a n equals to a plus n minus 1 into d third term a3 we have given which is 10 this is a3 and the sum of first eight term is this is s8 is 116 find the first term and the common difference right so uh, sum formula is sn is n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d right now for a3 we have a plus 3 minus 1 2 d which is equals to 10 this is my first equation and by using the sum condition we have uh, sum is 8 we can see from here let me solve for a a is equals to 10 minus 2d this is my first equation right now let me substitute the s8 so 8 over 2 into 2a plus 8 minus 17d this is 116 so 2 times 1 is 2 2 times 4 is 8 so 2a plus 7d you have 4 here this is 116 now substituting equation 1 so 2a plus 7d this is equals to 116 divides 4 so 2 times of a which is 10 minus 2d plus 7d equals to what is 116 divides 4 29 this is 20 minus 4d plus 7d minus 29 this is equals to 0 okay 7 minus 4 would be 3d and 20 minus 29 is 9. 9, uh, 9 divides 3 is 3. So d value is 3. The common difference is 3. Now let me solve for the a value. Okay. 
So the A value over here, just substitute the D, which is 10 minus 2 times of 3, 10 minus 6, which is equals to 4. A value is 4 and the D value equals to 3. Now for part B, find the sum of 19 terms of the progression starting from the 12th term, right? Okay, so we have to start from 12 and we need to add 19. So we can say if we do 11 plus 19, so 30th term, we have to find as 30 and as 11, right so if we do 30 minus 11 we will get 19 the difference of these two sum would be the sum of the 19 terms right now we have given the first term a is 4 we got from the first a part and the common difference is 3 right substitute into the formula sn is n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d right now let me find s30 first what is s30 30 by 2 and 2 times of 4 plus n minus 1 which is 30 minus 1 is 29 times 3 right okay so 29 times 3 plus 2 times 4 is 8 times 15 which is 1425 right now let me find as 11 which is 11 by 2 2 times of 4 11 minus 1 which is 10 d 3 10 times 3 2 times 4 is 8 10 times 3 is 30 times 11 over 2 209 now sum of 18 terms is S30 minus S11, 1425 minus 209, 1216. Right. Question number 11. In the vector diagram, OP is 2A. SR is 5A, O to S is 3B, and QR is B. Part A, given that PX is lambda times of PS, write OX in terms of AB lambda. So first, we have to find what is PX. PX is lambda times of PS. What is PS? P to S, P to O and O to S. PO, PO is 2A, PO is minus 2A, sorry, and O to S is plus 3B, right. By using this information, PX is lambda times of this, 3B minus 2A, right. Okay, now let me work on POX. OX, O to X, O to P and P to X which is OP plus PX. OP is 2A plus PX is this, lambda times of 3B minus 2A. So this is the answer of um, OX in terms of A, B and lambda. Now for part B, given that OX is lambda times of OQ, write OX in terms of A, B and sorry mu a b and mu okay where is ox ox is lambda mu times of oq so first we have to solve for o to q follows a path os sr and rq let me write this down oq is o to s s to r and then r to q okay now os is equals to 3b plus s to r is 5a minus b right so we have 5a plus 2b right and from here we can write down ox which is mu times of oq 
which is 5a plus 2b. So this is a value of Ox in terms of ab and mu. Right. Now for part C, find the values of lambda and mu. Okay, so from part A, we have Ox, which is 2a plus 3b lambda minus 2a lambda. And from part B, we have Ox is equals to 5a mu plus 2b mu. Right, now let me compare Ox. Okay, so comparing two a minus two a lambda plus three b lambda, this is equals to five a mu plus two b mu. Right. Now in the next step, let me compare the coefficients. Compare coefficients of a when i compare the coefficients of a we have 2 minus 2 lambda this is equals to 5 mu and if i compare the coefficients of b from here we have 3 lambda equals to 2 mu right now we have two equations in lambda and mu. We have to solve it to get the values for lambda and mu, right? So if I can say from here lambda is 2 by 3 mu, right? Now let me substitute this lambda value into my first equation. So from here 2 minus 2 times of lambda 2 by 3 mu minus 5 mu, this is equals to 0. 2 minus 4 by 3 mu minus 5 mu equals to 0. Okay, simplify 4 by 3 plus 5, which is 19 over 3 if we shift on the other side. So we have uh, 2 would be equals to 19 over 3 mu. Okay, further simplification, let me do over here. So we have, um, you can say what is mu, mu would be 2 times 3 over 19, mu is 2 times 3 is 6 over 19, this is 19, 6 over 19 is the mu value. Now let me substitute the mu in equation static, so we have lambda is equals to 2 over 3 times 6 over 19. So. 2 over 3 times 6 over 19. 4 over 19 is the lambda value. 4 over 19 is lambda and 6 over 19 is the mu value. Now for part D, write down the value of Ox over Oq. So from part B, we have Ox is this and we have Oq value is this. Right, let me write this down. Ox is mu times 5a plus 2b over Oq is 5a plus 2b. Right, we can cancel the like factors. We are left with mu and which is equals to 6 over 19. Right. Now for part E, uh, find the value of Px over Xs. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Px from the first step, uh, A part, Px is lambda 3b minus 2a. So this is your Px, lambda into 3b minus 2a over, what is my Xs? Okay, let me solve for Xs. Mm -hmm x to s right so we have to solve x to o and o s right x s is x to o plus o to s okay what is x to o o x is this and x o is with the negative sign so negative of 2 a minus lambda times 3 b minus 2 a 
and plus OS is 3B. Right. So we have 3B minus 2A minus lambda times 3B minus 2A. Or we can take 3B minus 2A common. We are left with 1 minus lambda. Right. So let me substitute this excess over here. So 3B minus 2A into 1 minus lambda. Let me cancel the like factors. 3A minus 2B. We are left with lambda over 1 minus lambda. We know that the lambda value is 4 over 19. Let me substitute that lambda value over here. So we have 4 over 19 over 1 minus 4 over 19. Okay, let's simplify. 4 over 19, 1 minus answer is 15 over 19, right? So from here, 4 over 19 over 15 over 19. 19 is cancelled with 19, we are left with 4 over 15. So the ratio of Px over Xs is 4 over 15. So that was the last question of our paper. If you have any queries, please let me know in the comment section and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Take care.